Today let us learn about accessing raw pixel data on canvas. We can access individual pixel data on canvas, manipulate it and put it back onto the canvas. Remember each pixel is composed of 4 bytes. That 4 bytes constitute red, green, blue and alpha that is RGB components and an alpha setting constitute 4 bytes of a pixel. So remember this each pixel is composed of 4 bytes. With this knowledge we shall explore more about image data accessing function. Let's start with create image data. This creates a new image data with width W and height H. Now this same create image data with IMG data creates new image data from an existing one. Now get image data gets image data within given bounds that is x, y, width and height. Another one is put image data puts modified data back into the image. If there is we can at this point x and y we can even give this optional parameters if given the image is supplied only in the bits inside that rectangle that is x y and width and height within that rectangle the image is being updated with that we have an image inside our folder where our index.html page exists. I'll just add that image to our HTML document. Its name is technotip.jpg. I'll even take an ID of and give it a name called IMG. Let's have a look at it on our browser. Yeah, funny image. We already know how to get this image onto our canvas using draw image method. If you already know it well and good, I'll make the display property to none for now. If you don't know, just visit the URL provided on this screen on the video screen. I'll quickly go ahead and draw the image onto the canvas. Context.canvas.width is the full width of the canvas. Similarly, the context.canvas.height is the full height of the canvas. Now, I'll just get the image data by using the method getImageData from 0, 0, that is x and y position which is top left corner from the very beginning I can give context.canvas.width and context.canvas.height or else I can directly give 3, 350 which is because I already know the width and height of our canvas it's recommended to give context.canvas.height itself because we may not know always what's the height and width of our canvas in this case, I'll just give 350, 350 because we are damn sure about the width and height. <laughs> now, I'll take another variable called pixel and fetch the data property of the image. Data, this is a single dimensional array of raw pixel data. Now, I'll take a variable called init and assign it a value of 1 and that's it for now i'll just erase this we have a variable called init and its value is one now i'll loop through um, using while yeah while is fine this loop should execute until init is less than the value of the canvas's height context.canvas.height I'm not giving 350 here because you may get confused with the width and height because both of their value is 350 in, in this case so this is the height 
So somewhere in, inside this loop I need to increase the value of i and it. I'll do that later on. Just have that in your minds. Now I'll loop through five times. That is j starts from 0 through 5 which means 0 through 4 which is again 5 times the iteration and increment the j each time the value of j. Now I'll calculate the value of row because I can't manipulate just the individual pixel and show the difference on the screen. So I need to manipulate the whole row to show the difference. So to calculate that I'll take my init the present initial value add it with the value of j into the width of the canvas into 4 because we know we already know each pixel is composed of 4 bytes now loop through this row because we need to change the pixels present inside that row which which has been selected i starts from 0 and it it should be less than or equal to canvas width into 4 remember 4 pixel is comprised of 4 bytes and in this case i'll increment the value of i by 4 each time the loop has been executed now it's simple manipulate that rgb values so i'll take rgb a that is 4 bytes which comprises the pixel so get the current pixel that is row plus i is equal to 255 is the value for colors like red green and blue so minus pixel row plus i the current pixel should be subtracted from 255 do the same three more times for green blue and alpha so how to get green blue and alpha increment the row value by 1, 2 and 3 respectively. This gets you to red, green and blue and alpha. But for now I'll take off this alpha to keep this example simple. I don't want to over complicate this. If you learn the one which I am showing you in this video you could easily implement that to alpha setting too. It, wo it works similar. So outside these two for loops I'll just increment the value of i and it because as I said somewhere inside this loop I need to increment the value of i and it. I'll increment it by 5 which means for every 5 pixels row phi row the value will be changed the image will be changed now outside of this while loop i'll put back the image using put image data the first parameter being the image i'll put it from the origin of the canvas that is 0 comma 0 so i have a typo here image small letter i let's have a look at it in the browser okay this is how we inverted the color of our original image let me remove this display none property so that we could compare with the original and the manipulated image on our canvas so this is how we could revert the colors now i'll specify four more parameters to specify a rectangle within which the image has to be presented the manipulated image has to be presented 170 because the width of our canvas is 350 half of which is 170 x axis 170 y from 0 that is from the top to the entire length but the width is 170 
which just means the manipulation takes place only to the half of the canvas that is the second half now I'll make sure the manipulated image is shown only to the bottom half of the canvas that is bottom half of the image just play around these values that is rectangle just the just it's about placing this the rectangle now i'll show you the first half of it being manipulated and second half being the same make this zero that is x axis should start from zero y axis should also start from zero length 170 width that is half of it cover the entire height so this is it so this is about accessing modifying and putting back the image by using its raw pixels data if i increase the initial value to 15 which only means that the manipulation should take place after 15 rows so only those bit of values that is those bit of pixels across the width of the canvas that is the entire width of the canvas gets manipulated so play around with this raw pixels data accessing methods and please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus twitter linkedin stumble upon etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please don't forget to like this video on youtube